pre precision rules. Uh, yeah, never be late. Just know all the stereotypes. And to drink a lot of beer, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, for me, it's just like a change of scenery. It was um, like really attractive. And yeah, from the outside, this team was always, I always felt like I would be a really good fit in this team. Um, the kind of riders I was always friendly with, like different variations of riders over the years on this team, and they always some of the team's praises. Um, I know a few guys already on the team. Uh, we have our own WhatsApp groups, Instagram groups, and we just send stupid stuff to each other. So it just like, it ticked all the right boxes, like good equipment, good staff. I only ever heard good things, and yeah, you guys work hard, and I also heard you play hard. So it, it was for me, it, it seemed perfect. Yeah, I did a lot of sports as a kid. Um, I was doing a lot of rugby um, and like track and field athletics. Um, but then my dad, I, I grew up kind of with cycling kind of in the back because my dad used to do it in the 80s. And yeah, about 15, 16 years ago, he started cycling again, uh, started racing. And then he was watching Tour de France on TV and the Giro on TV. And then I just thought from the age of, I think I was 11, I was like, yeah, this is what, I want this to be my job one day. And then seven years later it was so that's how i got into it mm -hmm. my dad basically what position did you play in rugby second row in the scrum just the guys that take the weight of everybody else and try and push yeah. <laughs> I, I was also like this size at 14 so it helped a lot okay. six foot two 80 kilos at 14 years old it was definitely a definitely a benefit uh, just ambition um like i, I want to be the best athlete i possibly can and Obviously, I know my role in cycling. It's like I'm not a, I don't, I'm not paid to win kind of thing. I'm not a leader, but like I get a massive kick when I help a leader win. Um, like I know my job. So I, for me, just doing a good job for the team is like I get a, a really big high from this. Like you know, if I have a teammate wins and I've played a part, it feels like I've won a race. And obviously, I do win from time to time, like the odd TT or like the nationals. Like I have my own goals, and then. Obviously, in time trials, I have my own goal. So just striving towards them and like seeing progression over the years. Yeah, probably uh, either Cancellara or Tom Boonen. Both those big guys, just like rock stars. The feed zone. <laughs> no, I, actually, I don't know. Um, good question. When we finish the race, I guess. <laughs> it's over, it's done. <laughs> Especially a day in the mountains. When that's finished, you have a big handful of Haribo, get a Coke down you. It's good, day's done, I can rest now. Hmm? Like eight or nine, maybe? I've got a big back, so I can get a few down my back. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a video on YouTube of me falling off a start ramp, and I think it has like 200,000 views, and it's it's ruined my life. Every now and then, I just hear the music playing, someone's playing the actual video. But yeah, I fell off a star ramp in a TT. Like, I got down the ramp, and then, uh, yeah, I had a, a new chain on an old cassette and then they just slipped and then I just went flying and uh, much to everyone's amusement apart from my own. Yeah. That's definitely the worst moment of my life actually. Not even my career but my life. <laughs> yeah. I can't live without. Uh, humour. I, yeah, without humour I think I would die. Like, just like, you know what? I, I deal with awkward moments in my life by trying to make it funny and then everyone is relaxed and then yeah, just if you make someone laugh, all problems disappear. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big gamer. Um, don't know. I watch a lot of Netflix. Like last week I was in Andorra, I just watched like the entire Peaky Blinders series in six days. I was pretty proud of that. Um, yeah. I don't really have a lot of hobbies, like, I mean, cycling takes up a really big chunk of my life and my time, so, like, when I'm not training, I'm resting, and if I'm not resting, I'm getting ready to go somewhere, so I don't really have a lot of time, which sounds quite boring, but, uh, yeah, I have a dog to look after, I have a wife to look after, so, that's a, it's a full-time job. <laughs> Bucket list, uh, I want to go skydiving, that's, like, super cliche, um, I've been scuba diving, You're just kind of like something, like something kind of cool, different and adventurous. Like, but skydiving is up there, but also like more cycling based. Like one day I want to try and do the hour record. Like that's been on my list for a long time. But and I'm pretty sure where unless Ghana comes and just blows out the water, but where it currently stands, I know I have the numbers to actually get it. But it's just like finding the time to do it. But like at least in my head, I know currently it's it's within reach. 
some of the martial arts. Like Jean-Claude Van Damme, just like Jackie Chan shit. <laughs> uh, I'm a pretty talentless guy, I don't know. But my arm does do this. <laughs> pretty bendy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just catch up with friends, go and take a burger from McDonald's, maybe have a bottle of wine or a glass of wine. <laughs> uh, yeah, just throw wine down, just see family, see friends, um, just chill out, go for some nice dinners, just a bit of normality, just being normal, being at home and not like being somewhere that isn't home, like we spend a lot of time away and then you have vacation, so just being at home is nice for me. Uh, 10 or 15 years, just um, yeah, obviously get further in my career, achieve some more, um, yeah, in two or three years I'll be 30, so I'm no longer a kid. Uh, yeah, just like, Maybe like being an older rider, and well not an older guy, but having the experience of the peloton, and then maybe also like guiding some younger guys. Um, just having like a like a concrete place in a team, like being like a foundation of a team, and just having that like reliability and that reputation of always being there, kind of thing. Some of this would be nice. Mm -hmm. Really fucking hard. <laughs> do as I say and not as I do. Not really, no. Um, I do have one thing in my head that I have to pin my number on exactly the same way every time. If I don't do it the same way, I'm just going to have a shit day. <laughs> yeah, makes no sense, but I have to start in the same place and finish in the same place. And I have to start on the left side and then go to the right side. I don't know why. I just have to do it the same way every time.